I am JD Wolf, and welcome back to my XCOM Long War campaign. Okay, guys, we are running 14C. I've just installed it, and <laughs> one of the changes that Allurium, which we're about to research, will not open plasma weapons for us. We're going to have to go with alien computers, uh, alien computer systems, which I guess we get after we get Allurium. I'm not sure. Let me just come through and check everything. They've changed the sort on this list a bit. All right, yeah, we don't have a lot of money. Foundry. This is new. Security training. You can, uh, if you have spare laser rifles in your inventory, the uh, the guys will pick them up. Same thing for armor. They'll pick up unused phalanx armor in our inventory if we have any phalanx armor. So that'll give your security team some equipment, um, you know, for fighting them. Uh, this hasn't changed. They're not supposed to. Now a lot of the perk trees have changed around, and um, so we have some new and changed stuff going on here. So let's start down with our wounded. I don't know why. We'll just start down here. And let's see what has changed. Okay, whatever we had before Sprinter. Aggression, Tactical Sense, or Ranger. Um, for our scouts? My memory, you know, guys, my memory huh, is not that great. I can't even remember when guys are on Overwatch in the middle of a turn. I don't remember exactly what we were getting at this level. Uh, but between these three, I'm going to go with Ranger. All right, let's see. What are you doing to my snipers? What are you doing to my snipers? Oh, criminy. I have disabling shot. Oh, whoa, okay. That's where this is not supposed to require a reload. I'm not going to do a reload. I have disabling shot and snapshot. Apparently, these are now mutually exclusive. You can only do. I mean, with this, with, with her, I get both, but. And I get no choice at Tech Sergeant because I do have both but I, I, I don't know what the deal is with that I'll have to look at the tree and see about those changes now at this level we have executioner aggression insight see insight for enemy insight it's gonna be inside of her in her range and damn good ground wow they moved it way out there one wolf gunslinger low profile Precision shot, that's your headshot. Wow. Um, tempted to go executioner for these higher up guys. Gives you another plus 10 to aim, plus 10 to crit. Or we get up to plus 30 to crit if we're keeping up. Or if we're elevated. I don't like that to force, force me to find her some elevation. And her aim is, well, her aim is only 98, but still. Um... they ever do aggression. We're going to go Executioner. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And she gets Ranger and Sharpshooter. So they've mixed it up. Lock and load. Bring them on. Vital point targeting. Wow. Yeah, vital point targeting. One additional critical critical hit for each enemy the squad can see whoa that's a lot more damage that's up to five damage this is up to two damage new species have been autopsied but that's only on critical hits this is 
on anything. I'm going to go vital point targeting for its consistency. And I get in the zone. Mayhem. Double tap. Other choices. Wow. How did this happen? Okay. <laughs> well, we have some super soldiers here who have more perks than they're supposed to. Snapshot, disabling shot, ranger, and sharpshooter. In addition to everything else. That is so... Strange. Um, let's do all the snipers. I like to have all of them have the same abilities. So, yep. Wow. Super Cyclops. Let's update another sniper. Golly. Same deal. Executioner. Oh, already got that. Battle point targeting. That is so weird. Okay, sniper over here. Executioner. And double up on those perks, too. And this is a product of not restarting the campaign, which we're, you know, over 50 missions in, we're not going to restart the campaign. Let's see what they've done to my engineers here. What have you done to my engineers? Repair. Now they have hollow targeting and heat warheads. Yeah, if it was a choice between the two, I'd go heat warheads. Um, but it's not. I get both. And now I have new extra conditioning. Hit points are actually pretty good. Dense smoke. Um, if you're carrying smoke grenades or battle scanners, you get to carry battle scanners. Instead of just the scout having battle scanners. So this is making uh, these guys more useful. They're going to eventually be pack master. Well, theoretically. Um, that'll increase the number of battle scanners. And if we have that many battle scanners, do we need a scout? I'm going to go. I can't pass up battle scanners because, yeah, now I have pack master, which should increase that as well. And then bombard grenades. Does that apply to battle scanners too? Wow, <laughs> if it did, that'd be great. Because they already go really, really far. Okay, so I get one extra on the engineers. What they're trying to do is not take away perks that you already have. Um, but... That's leading to some interesting side effects. Oh, this will be a complete redesign. Or, wow, these are not highlighted. These may all be double. Or locked down. Let's see. Field medic. Revive. We have smoke and paramedic. Suppression, smoke and mirrors, or field surgeon. Okay, field surgeon has 75% chance to reduce or eliminate recovery time of non-critically wounded soldiers. Automatic reduction if multiple med kits on a mission. Medics on this mission have this perk. What? 75% <laughs> chance to reduce or eliminate recovery on non critically wounded soldiers. Automatic reduction. Oh, instead of 75%, it's 100% if you bring more than one uh, guy on a mission. Okay, and what's the last part? Automatic reduction of multiple medics on mission. Does not affect wounds sustained by sending fatigue soldiers on a mission. Okay, I like field surgeon. Yeah. Okay, and then you're locked down here. Dense smoke is way later, ready for anything. And sentinel, which I had picked, of course last time. Double up there. Okay. Profit. Okay, right. We have that and we're going to use the same logic here. We're going to go with the battle scanner. 
He's got good hit points, and he's pack master, so that should bump up the battle scanners. Angel? Okay, sorry guys, just going through this field surgeon. Didn't smoke ready for anything. Alpha! Okay, same principle, aggression, tactical sense, or ranger, we're gonna go ranger. And we automatically get our smoke and mirrors back. Aim of 103, that's a good aim. All right. Axel. Yeah, we got some soldiers to go through. Okay, battle scanner. Not gonna be anything new here. Scout, same deal. Ranger. Getting a little lower. Scout again. Sorry, I should just go like that. Field Surgeon, yes. Sunny. Medic. And... Okay, so here's where we're starting. So we have that. We have Covering Fire, Steadfast, Never Panic, or Revive. Prefer Revive. Okay, so anybody below that's gonna be starting. Okay, McLeod. Okay, and I need to check and be sure. They say come over here and change. The ethnicity and they'll come back. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's what the hell, otherwise you can crash the game inside the tactical game. Alright, let's take a look at everybody's picture. Make sure they show up and they're not invisible. They don't have a missing head. Okay. Just making sure all these guys show up. That's all I'm doing here. All base security. I'll change their colors if I need to take them on a mission. But he was completely, that one guy was completely invisible for some reason. Alright, and bow all the way back around. Okay. So I think we're okay with that. And. New promotions available in the armory. No changes here, no changes there. I need 500 credits for that. Wow, did that increase? Check out the hangar. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Research the alien genome. Okay. Xenogenetics. Okay, xenogenetics. And we're currently researching Allurium. Okay. I think we're alright. Uh, we're going to move forward from here. And get the council mission. Get some more money in the kitty. Oh. I've got to assign new research. We've researched Delirium now. And we do want to do some autopsies. Autopsies, those they'll be fast. The xenogenetics is pretty quick as well. Gauss, mobile power armor. 
Now I need alien power systems before I can get pulse lasers now. So that pushes the pulse lasers out another 17 days. They've also increased some of the ammo on the gauss weapons. Um, so that makes that a little bit more appealing. Before I make that decision, let's do the autopsies first. This unit appears to be a drone. Okay, I'll research drone. Fifteen of our forty-two sectoids for one scientist. That is really, really expensive. I'll put that on hold. Exalt operation. Now, okay, we lost a day on the autopsy. I guess that's not a big deal. But I have been attacking Exalt to keep them from doing this, so maybe this has changed. You know, all this, I'm looking at anything that happens now as a change for 14. Ah, but by them doing that, we know they're in the UK. So we get a free covert op. Let's take a look at our list of soldiers. Now, we're not supposed to be able to take rookies any longer. And when selecting for the mission, notice how the sword is different. Everybody active is at the top. Everybody fatigued is down here. And then the wounded are below that. So that is a change that they made to the sword. I want to take some of our new guys that have experience. It looks like they are going to let us take these, these rookies down here. Some of these have zero experience. Um, one, four. I remember when all we heard about were flying saucers. The aliens certainly have come a long way. Let me go back out to the barracks and see. Oh, no, because see what I'm looking at is that these guys have the experience, but it's still not letting them do anything. I'm going to have to take them on a mission before don't let me do anything. They had the experience. I should be able to take them. It's not letting me. All right. New promotions available in the armory. That's not true. Okay. Cover up. So I normally like to take low-level guys. Scout is good. Well, she could mind fray. Being out there. And let's get her built up. Since we know she's going to have our psionics. And the loadout, she's at plus three. 14 plus three. Do I need to clear this them out? Central. I'm receiving you. What do you mean you think you saw a snake? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Yeah. We need to, I need to release items. Anyway, so 14 plus 3. Let's see if we still need to do this. Annette, loadout. Vest. 14 plus 4. By doing that. 14 plus 6, like that. I can't free the items up. I can't free the items up on that menu. I have to actually find someone equipped with the laser pistol. It's probably going to be... Let's start up here. Uh, oh, they can't carry it. There we go. Huh. Interesting. New promotions available in the armory. Gotta be careful how many times I'm clicking. Okay, here we go. Soldier 
your list. Put the scout right there. What is her ability? Just lightning reflexes, that's all she has. Laser pistol, she doesn't have battle scanners yet, so let's give her some battle scanners. Okay. But still, she's at 14 plus. I think the engineering team three. is getting antsy. They might be more excited about the new weapons than our troops are. Well, she was already equipped with a vest. Hmm. I mean, it might have stripped her down. Okay. We'll have to see. We'll see later. Oh, they changed the graphic for the high capacity magazines. You see that? Still can't use armor piercing ammo. Okay. And then grenades and whatnot. Okay, we're gonna go with this. Let's send XCOM operative deployed against Exalt position in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom. Alright, here we go. Let's go up to the autopsy. Let's see what else happens. Whoa. Now that is interesting. <laughs> that is very, very interesting. Three flight computers. For two scientists and two engineers. How can I pass that up? I have 22 of them in storage. I'm going to do it. May live to regret that. I don't know. Okay. Drone autopsy. Hollow targeter and shiv repair. Hollow targeter will allow mechanized units to transmit target data to the rest of the squad. So basically, it gives your mechs um, hollow targeting. Seeker autopsy. Yes, I want to do a little bit more damage to Seekers. Despite its physical appearance, this machine doesn't seem to be made up of any organic components. Its surface has an unusual metallic composition that somehow interacts with the vapors it releases for concealment. Huh. That's interesting. I guess I hadn't seen that one before. Alright. Council reports in three days. Our first covert op is in five. Ten of our twenty-two mutons for two engineers. Um, I don't see why not. Let's do that. Things that have changed. Enhanced lasers project complete. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Thank you. We're, We're always up to glad to have more help down here. Okay, we got enhanced beam optics. Right there confers increased damage for our pulse and beam laser small arms. Small arms meaning doesn't mean your pistols, it means any of the weapons that your soldiers are carrying. Uh, that will take up a slot, but I'm thinking instead of um, you know, your laser sight that I'm giving these guys, give them this for an additional point of damage. It's only 30 credits a piece. And so, how many do I want to buy? Probably six, maybe eight. Six something, that's 180. Uh, I know we're about to hit the council report. Let's go ahead and buy some. Fly computers, power sources. Allurium. And we got a lot of Allurium. 
How much would that cost? To get 200, we're still over 400 Allurium. It's going to cost us 40. Let's do that. Go with six of them. Yeah, six is all we can afford at that point. 24 alloy, six meld, so you need a little bit of meld. It's not showing the meld, but we need a little bit of meld for everything. 12 days, though. So we want to get it going. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Let's move on up. Commander, unfortunately, one of our members has chosen to discontinue their involvement in the XCOM project. Finally. So they finally took Excellent Japan. work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning right. of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. So we've got four scientists, four engineers. Uh, we have four um, continent bonuses. We're stationed on this continent. <laughs> That's our, where our main base is, right in the heart of the activity. They're trying to take uh, Europe and then probably Africa after that. Uh, we but we're, be in touch, Commander. I think we're doing pretty well. Okay, Seeker Autopsy is coming up. We have some cash now. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. And... I need to research the xenogenetics. Hmm... This is going to take a long time. Let me look at the research. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. No, it's not three days. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Research the xenogenetics. Is that going to allow us to find their base? Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember the sequence. Um,. How quickly do we need these satellites to come up and be deployed? What are we in the middle of building? Whoop. Over here. Fission generator. Right, in anticipation of getting the satellite uplink and some satellites. I do need to save up for pulse lasers. But pulse lasers are a few months out now. A couple of months. So we're down with our beam lasers. No, no love for Gauss weapons. Um, I really like in the beam lasers too much, and so I'm investing more in the beam optics. Okay, let's just move on up. Now, Raider, we should be able to take a medium out. Nap of the Earth, it's pretty low. It could end up landing somewhere. But if we could shoot it down... Let's have radar sh soften them up and skipper shoot it down. I'm gonna continue to go aggressive. I know this has been tweaked. I need to stop and look what the aiming is on these guys. Enemy is padlocked. I'm not gonna do that right now. Closing on target. Got him. They are down and moving. That was interesting. That I took a lot less damage. Of course, I have armored fighters now, and I, it's been a long time since I tried to shoot anything down. And then the way it moved up, I think that's new. All right. Okay, so we have a, a raider on the ground. What happens now is that your crew loads up blank and you pick and choose who you want to come on the mission you have active at the top and then you're fatigued only have 
dice in Congo that are fatigued. One's on a covert op. I need to be aware of that. It is a medium UFO. And we're in a forest with heavy ve vegetation, which means lots of trees. So it's going to be good for snipers. Let me go ahead and pick them, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, guys. Um, here's uh, what we have equipped for this mission. It is a medium UFO. We're going with a gunner and a rocketeer for the mechanicals. I'm going with two engineers for capturing anything that we haven't captured yet. We have captured a muton, a sectoid, didn't we capture a muton? And uh, some outsiders. So anything else will be good. Uh, a scout, our best scout, Spectre, our lowest um, sniper that also has disabling shot. Now if you look, she has yeah, she has disabling shot and snapshot, ranger sharpshooter. Okay, and vital point targeting. Okay, so she has the disabling shot. I think she's the lowest that has it. Uh, we're going with McLeod, which I need to edit. He's uh, he's new, but we are going to, uh, you know, as a medic, get him trained up a bit. And hang on, let me. Get him in uniform. Yes, you must dye your hair. And Sato. Now Sato has... Uh, I boosted up her aim with equipment. She has enough experience to gain a level or two. And uh, so I'm taking her along. Leaving her, basically, so I know who she is. I'm probably going to keep all the hats on the on the guys. I like to know who they, who they were. But the hat... Uh, the colors may change on the hats once they get some... Uh, a class and here we go medium UFO in heavy vegetation shot down there comes dice back on active duty prepare for deployment strike one we're moving into Argentina next the threat there seems to be the most pressing the downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town if we can secure the crash site we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties Operation Forgotten Future in Argentina. We shouldn't have any aliens in sight. They fixed that bug, they they believe. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. 